couple of things to talk about, especially when it comes to Twitter. Everyone's been talking about Elon Musk and will he or he won't he do this for the platform? Is anything going to change? How different will it be? And some things have gotten a little bit better over on Twitter, but it's not that radically different than what it was before. I think I think your likelihood of being banned is has dropped a little, but nothing drastic. And I'm going to show you why that's not going to change anytime soon in a minute. But this is the big thing going on right now. Elon Musk asked Twitter users to vote on whether he should reinstate Trump to social networking site with large majority, majority currently in favor. So yesterday he started a Twitter poll late Friday asking followers to vote on whether to, and re, and to reinstate former President Trump back on the platform. And it was originally at 55%. But right now... It's sitting at 52%, yes, 47%, no, with five hours left. Almost 13, oh, yeah, now 13 million votes. So five hours left. Now the real question is, he is he actually going to do anything? Like if this poll ends up being a yes when it ends, and I think it will, will he actually do it? I'm curious if he will. The reason I say that is because none of this is really up to him. It's all up to what Apple and Google want. And if he reinstates Trump and they don't like it, they could pull Twitter off of their apps just like they did to Parler. This is who really, really rules all of these platforms, Google and Twitter, and Google and Apple. Twitter was actually safer under Mr. Musk than it was before. Elon posts smiling group photo with Twitter, coding staff, as ex-safety czar says new boss upped efforts to get rid of hate speech, but warns Apple and Google might kill the app. Now, there's an interesting, there's an interesting bit of stuff in here I want to go over, and it's this down here. So this is the interesting part of this conversation that that guy gave to an interviewer. Ross said that while this likely fueled Musk to find profits outside advertisers, the chief to its biggest challenge might be Google and Apple. Failure to adhere to Apple and Google's guidelines would be catastrophic risking Twitter's expulsion from their app stores and making it more difficult for billions of potential users to get Twitter services, Roth said. This makes Apple and Google enormous. This gives Apple and Google enormous power to shape decisions Twitter makes. He noted the company's influence as his team would regularly be contacted by Google and Apple reps with gripes over racial slurs and sexual content they would come across on Twitter. I see. Uh, now the thing on on the sexual content here, that's funny, because I don't know if you knew this or not, but Twitter, at least before Musk, I don't know if this has changed or not, would regularly let CP flow on their site, and wouldn't do anything to try to stop it. It was all over the place, actually. And they didn't do a damn thing to try to change that. As much as people would try to bring it to their attention and do something about it, they refused to do anything. It was, and probably still is, a big problem on the platform. But Google and Apple didn't seem to really care much about that. Oh, now they do? It's interesting. Under Musk, things are a little bit different. Now they're going to clamp down harder. It just shows you that these, even though he's here and trying to make it better, these tech companies, they have the final say. So they can still pull it and stop anything they don't like. And this is why it's not going to change that much 
under him. It might get a little bit better, but it can't get too much better or these guys are going to ruin all the fun. Roth said that the rules of the companies reflect the values of those in power rather than that of their users, and toted Musk's effort to halt this version of censorship, despite approving a Musk move to form a content moderation council to guide Twitter's policy. Roth criticized the CEO's decision to be the sole person calling the shots, saying that it was no different than what Apple and Google executives do. And then he talks about how that was the reason he left the company. Uh, that guy, never forget, as much as he's saying here, this dude on the left uh, was one of the worst people. Uh, definitely pro-censorship guy here on the left and called anybody who basically voted for the orange man a uh, radical racist. So this guy, this guy, he... uh. He is quite the hypocrite talking about censorship. I would trust Musk over him, but the Apple and the Google store stuff is a real problem. And I didn't know that they were already up his ass. Apparently they're, they're already up his ass big time. So for him to even reinstate Trump, it kind of looks like he'll have to get their permission to do it. Because I can tell you one thing. He definitely is very, very afraid of losing the app stores. I mean, he kind of has to be. You lose those, it's death kiss. Remember Parler? Remember what happened with Parler? Parler comes around, was getting massive traction. I remember my my follower list was going up big time over there. It was probably the most growth I had seen on an alt tech in such a short time. And then they removed the platform from the app stores, and it killed it instantly. All that momentum came to a screeching halt. And that's the problem he faces with Twitter. Though I wonder if they'd really do it because, I mean, this is the biggest social media site out there. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what kind of developments happen with this as we move forward. But anyway... That's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this. What are your thoughts? Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and my Locals, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.